Hey guys, welcome to day 125 of my carnivore journey where I do daily vlogs and let you know how I feel. Um, guys, if you want to know my beginning stats from day one, uh, they are in the comments or in the description down below. And also, if you want to know my stats at day 90 and then, you know, my stats at day 120. So uh, I am updating those and they're all in the description below. And of course, you can also find what I eat on a daily basis below in the description. But I also tell you guys so and I tell you how I feel. So today, um, good day, good energy. Um, I had a really good dinner, guys. Um, let me show you real quick right here. So I had my one pounder, but it was a little special today. So first of all, let me just tell you the differences because you guys kind of know my one pounder by now, right? But I had four eggs over medium on top. So that was awesome. And then, man, they were so good today because when I cooked the four eggs on the flat top, I left all that grease from the burger and all that on there. And it just, oh, so good. I didn't even salt the eggs. Um, but, and I didn't do the Tabasco, but what I did do today is I actually added a couple ounces of cheese. I shredded a few ounces of cheese and added that. And I, and I hand mashed all that into the burger. So between the cheese flavor and of course, a little bit of salt, it still was on the saltier side. I did cut back the, res the salt, um, but uh, it was kind of a balancing act today because, again, with the, the extra little bit of the cheese in there, I mashed it off with my hand, made it into, like, of course, a burger patty. And then I did the bacon grease on both sides this time instead of butter. So did bacon grease. I smeared a thick layer of the, you know, like I, like I showed you guys before. And then I flipped it after six minutes or so, flipped it, and then I, I did the other side, and I did a little bit of, of – uh, Bacon grease. So it's kind of like a bacon cheeseburger kind of thing with the eggs on top. But it just came out so good. I let my son have a few bites and he was just like, oh, man, like he loved it. And it, and it does like when you find something that just works and you can just eat it every day, um, man, it just it helps. But, yeah, I wanted to have four eggs today. I was pretty hungry. Um, I didn't have my hard boiled eggs today. That was the only thing. And in fact, I'm actually even recording this a little early. I'm recording it at five o'clock. Normally, I'll record about eight o'clock or so. Um, but I, I ate pretty much like three hours early. I was hungry because I wanted. I, and normally, I would have just had my hard boiled eggs. But like I said, it was like four o'clock or whatever. And I was like, you know, I'm just going to have dinner. And now if I get hungry a little later, I mean, I've got hard boiled eggs. You know, uh, I don't have any bacon right now. But I've got hard boiled eggs if I need to. Um, what else? Oh, yeah, I did have some reminders of what I wanted to cover a little bit on today's show. Um, because I know I get some people that bring stuff up. And so I try to cover things when I can. Okay. So one is positive mood. When eating good. So I think Russell might have brought this up. Um, it's kind of like if if you don't eat meat, like uh, I've kind of noticed that too. Like if I don't tend to get like my meat and maybe just eggs or like chicken or something, you know, if, if it like to me, those are substandard in a way. The red meat is the superior thing, right? And if I don't get my my red meat portion for the day, it seems like I do tend to get a little more negative and cynical. And I think Russell was talking about like when you get when you get to have your meat, it just keeps you positive and happy. So I will say there does seem to be that correlation. Um, also, I wanted to tell you guys. So I know that in the very beginning, if you go back to the beginning, one of the things that I complained about, and it might even be in the description, but I had to wear a stretchy belt. Because I really couldn't like pull my pants up, thread a belt through w w because of how much overhang with my gut and just and how big I was. And then trying to, you know, man maneuver the belt through the loops around me and everything. It was just such a pain in the ass that I got a stretchy belt and I would adjust it 
you know, however, and then I would just pull my pants up almost like uh, sweat ba- sweatpants or something, you know, something like with an elastic band, basically. So I like pull them up. And if it was too loose, I'd pull them back down a little bit, adjust the belt, pull them back up, and I'd be good to go for the day. But uh, I just to let you guys know, I am wearing a normal belt, and I actually put it on normally. I didn't, like, put it on ahead of time. Um, I actually was able to thread it around me and pull it tight. Now, I did buy a belt that was too big. I thought it would fit me. I kind of half-ass tested it in the store got home put it on and i cinched it tight to where it was you know where it's supposed to be and i ran out there was no more loops or no more holes i was like shit so i had to take it back well i took it back and then i left it at the store again i left it at the store after i took it back and exchanged it i had it in a bag and i had that while i was at the store again i bought some paper towels and i bought the towels and i left the damn belt with the cashier on accident and took the paper towels. Well, I went back the next day and it wasn't there. Um, in fact, I believe they put it back on the shelf because it was the only belt like that that I could find. And when I went back there, it was right there on the very beginning of the the, the little hang hanger. Um, but the customer service was like, oh, we wouldn't have put it back on the shelf. Yeah, okay. So I got my belt. Um, uh, finally. And, uh, so that's nice. And I, and I wanted to have a real belt again. It's important to me. And like, I also carry, cause I, I do believe in carrying uh, a gun and especially nowadays. And so I live at the border of Tennessee and Virginia. So while I'm in Tennessee, uh, Tennessee is actually a constitutional conceal carry. You can actually conceal a weapon constitutionally, in Tennessee. Don't mark my words for it though. Always check your local laws just in case things change. But when you go across the border, like when I go shopping, a lot of times Virginia is open carry. So a lot of times, like if I want to carry a gun, I'll just put the holster on it. I like, I prefer to conceal, but when I go to Virginia, um, now if I did the enhance conceal uh, course, you can actually, for eight years, you can have a con- an enhanced conceal through Tennessee, and there's actually like 40 other states that will honor that conceal. So if I can conceal in Virginia and a bunch of, like I said, 40 states that you can conceal with that Tennessee uh, enhanced conceal permit. The problem is I went and took the class, me and my wife, we both went and took the class. We just never went back to the DMV to pay the 50 bucks to get her. <laughs> we paid for the class. We took the class. We went out and shot, qualified, all that stuff, and just never went to DMV. And now it's like been over a year. But the only reason why I haven't gone back right away to do the concealed class is because Tennessee started becoming a concealed um, state. However, Again, it's just, it doesn't hold to other states. So, you know, like I said, when I cross the border, I've got to, um, I got to basically pull the shirt up over the gun. (laughs) So, so I've been carrying it on my hip, uh, hip carrying with a holster. Anyways, enough talk about that, I guess. But, uh, let's see, anything else? That's about it. I think, um, it was a good day today. You know, it really was just as far as like feeling wise, felt good. No, no real complaints. You know, I I just, I can't, I, I mean, this carnivore diet, I'm telling you guys, you know, I don't care what people say. Like when they come in the comments are negative, like go fuck yourself. You know what I mean? Uh, And you guys know, I like to cuss every once in a while, so it's okay. (laughs) Um, But, but guys, you know what I mean? Like th- this diet. Ugh. But yeah, um, your guys' comments. Again, I always like to point it out because seriously, I love hearing from you guys. And I and one thing that's really been near and dear to me, and I never really thought about it, but you guys keep telling me like how much I've been inspiring you guys and how 
much I motivate you guys and things with these daily videos. And that kind of blows me away because I always keep thinking of my these videos just like, I'm like, why, why, like, and maybe because it's me and I'm hard on myself, but I always consider these like rambling, boring messages. I'm like, why would this motivate you? But, the, you know, whatever. is Hey, I appreciate you guys. And like I said, that just blows me away. And, and I thank you from the bottom of my heart. Seriously, that just is amazing. And I'm going to try not to change, you know. I mean, I'll, I'm going to mix. I'm going to do some new new type of videos too, cooking and things like that. But I'm going to try not to really change who I am. And I'm going to try to keep everything similar uh, and address the the topics as we go. And I probably will repeat some topics because again, we get a lot of new people along the way and they don't always go back and watch the old videos. So they need to hear certain things again, <laughs> but there is hope. My belt, I, that's amazing progress. Now, finally, I still got the gut hanging over though. Um, that's something that's going to take time, but it's, it's shrinking. And so, like I said, it's, I'm able to put on a belt and and wear a regular belt again, whether leather belt. So love it. But guys, uh, we will see you tomorrow, day 126, as we head toward our day 150. Remember, I want to get down to 250. I'm at I was at 268 back on day 120. So we'll see how it goes. All right, guys. Bye.